All right, so let's continue on. Thick versus thin. Thick provisioning and thin provisioning are two totally different concepts. Let me get out of the way here and we'll go through this. So a thick provisioned disk is saying that I'm going to provision, let's say 50 gigabytes of memory, not memory, excuse me, of disk space. When I provision 50 disk gigabytes of disk space to a particular virtual machine, that virtual machine is gonna reserve all 50 gigabytes of that storage space. When I thin provision, what I'm saying is, I'm gonna take this 50 gigabytes of space and I'm still gonna give it to this virtual machine. But what's gonna happen is I'm only going to take what I use. So if I'm using 30 gigabytes, that's what I'm gonna use. The rest of this space, this 20 gigabytes, this can be usable by anyone else who has access to the data store. So it's thin provisioning. I'm only taking what I use. Now, thick provisioning comes in different styles. Thick provisioning comes in lazy zeroed and eager zeroed. Lazy zeroed says, I'm not going to zero out any of the space I've allocated for this virtual machine. So this virtual machine may have been written over several times now. And as many times as it's been written over, it's got zeros and ones that make up the entire data store. I'm not going to zero this out. I'm not going to get ready to write anything to those sectors. I'm just going to leave it how it is. And when I need to, that's when I will zero out this area and get it ready to write. Eager zeroed is a little different. Eager zeroed says, as soon as I provision this for the virtual machine, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those former zeros and ones that are there keeping old data that I don't care about anymore. I'm going to get rid of these and I'm gonna zero everything out so that it's ready to go right now and easy to write to. Now in the old days, we used to have to do thick eager zeroed for fault tolerance. This is no longer the case, but this does however provide a bit of write performance for only the initial write sequence. So we're gonna get a little bit of a speed boost here because I no longer have to zero things up. Now I've seen lots of white papers going all the way back to 5.0 and it seems like the difference is negligible. It seems like there's not a big huge difference between eager zeroed and lazy zeroed. But if you wanna squeeze, squeeze every little bit of your performance out, Thick eager zeroed is the way to do that for the initial writes only. After that, it's, it's the same performance no matter what. Now, if we need at some point in our environments to convert thin to thick or vice versa, we can find the VM file on a data store. Well, thin to thick, we find the file on a data store, right click and inflate. That is how you can create thin to a thick. But another way you can do it is through storage vMotion. And that way you can move thick to thin or thin to thick. Use a storage vMotion and change the provisioning when you do. Uh, one thing to be wary of when you're using thin provisioning if you over provision the amount of disk space you have available totally, you could run into an issue if all the disks fill up on all the virtual machines, you will run out of storage space and then you're in trouble. Like we said, there is a high watermark. We talked about this a little bit in, in let me move that out of the way. In VMFS 6.0, space reclamation was, was done only when we went in and actually looked for it, right? So again, let's review. The high water mark on a data store was this. I thin provisioned this data store, but I'm only using 33% of this data store. At some point, I bounce up and I use 66% of this data store, but then I immediately drop back down to 33%. The high watermark would keep the allocation at 66%. And that's not good because I'm thin provisioned for a reason. I want to be able to use that space. And even though I'm not, no longer using it, we're at 66. This was a problem in VMF. 
S5.0 and below. In 6.0, we have automatic space reclamation that goes after that space for us. And that is great, but if you're using 5.5 .5 or 5 dot whatever for your VMFS, be aware of that watermark when you're using thin, pr thin provisioning. Whatever you've used in the maximum, even though you're thin provisioned your disk for your virtual machine, whatever you've used, the maximum amount ever, is still going to be reserved.